Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting question. Find the cross form of the sum. Okay, how to begin? Well, first, uh, I am going to take uh, the sum is equal to S1 and I am going to define another sum S2 is equal to uh, sine of A plus sine of 2 times A plus sine of 3 times a plus this is going to sine of n times a then I am going to multiply uh, s2 by i i uh, complex unit so here i times s2 is equal to i times sine of a plus i times sine of 2a plus i times sine of 3 times a plus this is going to i times sine of n times a then uh, we can take uh, sum of s1 plus i times s2 s1 uh, plus i times s2 then if we take uh, first term so cosine of a plus i times sine of a uh, so i am going to define a um, complex number c is equal to cosine of a plus i times sine of a therefore here uh, we know cosine of a plus i times sine of a is equal to c then plus now if we take uh, this uh, part we know cosine of 2a plus i times sine of 2a so uh, here cosine of 2a plus i times sine of 2a is equal to we know c square according to the Moore's theorem so we can write here c square uh, same as similarly we can write c to the third power plus uh, last term c to the n now we can take c as a common factor so here 1 plus c plus c square plus uh, c to the n minus 1 and now we know this is a geometric series and the sum is equal to c to the n minus 1 over c minus 1. Now, uh, if we consider this part, so we can write c to the n minus 1 over c to the, sorry, c minus 1 uh, is equal to, now we know c is equal to cosine of a plus i times sine of a, so c to the n is equal to According to the Moore's theorem, we know uh, cosine of n times a plus i times sine of n times a. And here we have minus 1 over here c minus 1. So cosine of a plus i times sine of a minus 1. Then uh, we can um, take... Uh, instead of cosine of n a we can take a trigonometric formula we know cosine of n a is equal to 1 minus 2 times sine square of n a over 2 uh, and here plus now uh, we know double angle formula so here 2 times i sine of n a over 2 cosine of n a over 2 minus 1 then uh, in the determinant we have cosine of a so same formula we can write 1 minus 2 times sine square of a over 2 plus double angle formula 2 times i sine of a over 2 cosine of a over 2 and here we have minus 1 then we know this 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 get cancelled and also this 2 get cancelled and now we can write uh, this is equal to uh, here we have minus sign here also minus sign instead of minus sign minus 1 we can write i square and here also we can take i square and now we know uh, this i this i this square this square get cancelled so we can take uh, now sign of n a over 2 as a common factor so we can write sine of n times a over 2 
times now we have uh, here cosine of uh, n a over 2 plus i times sine of n a over 2 so here cosine of n a over 2 plus i times sine of n a over 2 over now in the denominator we have we can take sine of a over 2 as a common factor uh, so here we have cosine of a over 2 plus i times sine of a over 2 now uh, here we have uh, sine of n times a over 2 over sine of a over 2 and now we can uh, simplify uh, this part uh, using uh, the Movis theorem so we can write here uh, if we divide this complex number uh, complex numbers we can write here cosine of cosine of now n minus 1 times a over 2 so n minus 1 over 2 times a uh, then plus i times here uh, sine of n minus 1 over 2 times a okay then uh, uh, this is equal to we know c to the n minus 1 over c minus 1 now uh, we need to s1 plus i times s2 so s1 plus i times s2 is equal to we know c to the c times c to the n minus 1 over c minus 1 and uh, now uh, we should multiply uh, this part by c c we know cosine of a plus i times sine of a uh, times sine of n a over 2 over sine of a over 2 times cosine of n minus 1 over 2 times a plus i times sine of n minus 1 over 2 times a okay then um, again we can multiply these complex numbers so we know <coughs> we should take sum of the angles so here we have now sine of n a over 2 over sine of uh, a over 2 times now cosine of uh, if we take a plus n minus 1 over 2 times a we know n plus 1 so n plus 1 over 2 times a uh, then plus i times sine of n plus 1 over 2 times a okay then uh, here we have a complex number and also this side we have a complex number so uh, now if we compare uh, real part we know real part from this side s1 uh, and here we have real part sine of n times a over 2 uh, times cosine of n plus 1 over 2 times a over sine of a over 2 okay this is the uh, close form of uh, of uh, this sum and also additionally we will have uh, s2 the sum of uh, sine function so here this is equal to now we can compare imaginary part so s2 is equal to uh, sine of n a over 2 cosine of n plus 1 over 2 times a over uh, so here imaginary part so this will be sine over sine of a over 2 okay we are done if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching